Hello and welcome back. In this video, we're going to set up our default layout and we're going to load in Bootstrap and jQuery so that we can use them in our project. We're also going to go ahead and make sure that our views and everything are working as expected. And then um, after that, we're going to move on to our database class and connect to our database. So in this video, we're just going to get some layout stuff going. So um, if you go to getbootstrap.com uh, and then click on getting started, you can click on download bootstrap here and then you it will download the bootstrap files to your computer um, I've already done that um, so uh, I'll show you how to put that in your project in just a moment and then also we're gonna go to jQuery and unfortunately we can't use the newest version of jQuery with the version of bootstrap so let's jump in and get started um, go ahead and open my file here applications, uh, htdocs, and then I have, let me find my project here, um, Rua. So what I want to do is I'm going to extract Bootstrap really quickly. And we have our CSS here, so let me just open that. Um, the only CSS I'm going to grab out of here is the bootstrap.min.css. I'm going to drag that into the CSS folder here. And then um, I'm also going to grab the fonts for the glyphicons. I'm just going to drag those right into our fonts folder. Make sure they're there. Yep. All right. And then um, I need to grab the JavaScript. So I'm going to grab the bootstrap.min.js and drag that right into our JS folder right here. All right, that's there. And then what I want to do, I was like, I'm just going to grab the uh, jQuery from the CDN. So I'm going to go to past releases. So what I've done is I've gone to jQuery, go to download, and then go down to the jQuery CDN. And then I'm going to find the version I want, which is the 2.2.4. And then I'm going to click on the minified version. And what that does is that will grab um, the script. But I'm going to just copy this right here and open another browser tab and load this. And then I'm going to select everything in here, every bit of it. Make sure you don't miss anything. And I'm going to copy that and then I'm going to go to my text editor and inside the JS folder, I'm going to create a new file. So I'm going to call it jQuery uh, 2.2.4.min.js. And I'm going to paste that right in there. And that's that minified jQuery file that we just loaded. That way I don't have to load it through a CDN. Um, you, if you have good internet connection or whatever, and you're not lo working locally, you can load it through a CDN. That's totally fine. I just like having the file here locally. Um, and then I gotta get rid of these stupid uh, .ds stores because when I drag files into my project on the um, Mac, it adds that. So. At any rate, here's that jQuery file, uh, minified file. So you guys probably may know a better way of getting those older versions, but for me, I just load it like that. So let's um, really quickly jump in and get back to let me reorganize a little bit. Um, let's get back to Bootstrap, their website. We don't need jQueries anymore. And I'm going to click on the Get Started page. Let's just go down to the basic template, and I'm going to copy all of that. And that's useful. And then uh, here, I'm going to create in the Views. So I'm in the App Views directory. I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call it Layouts. OK. And I did not mean to call it .php. Please bear with me, I'm very tired. <laughs> um, so views, layouts, and then in there I'm going to create a new file that I'm going to call default.php. Okay? And I'm just going to paste that um, 
that code that I got from the getting started page on getbootstrap.com and this gives us a basic template to start from so let's just go ahead first and remove um, all of this okay um, Both three meta tags. Yeah. Uh, any other head content? Yeah. Okay. I'll just leave that comment so we don't mess that up. All right. So there's some things that we need here. They've already loaded the jQuery uh, CDN here. Uh, we could keep that if we wanted. I'm going to get rid of it. I'm also going to get rid of this uh, H1 tag here. I don't want that. Um, and they're loading these at the bottom of the page. That's Fine, except for I'm going to load them in the head. Um, so underneath here, what I want to do first, let's load in our CSS. So I'm going to do um, style sheet, and what we have available to us is we're going to get rid of this uh, forward slash, and instead we're going to echo out our project root like that, and then. Um, in our CSS folder, we called it bootstrap .min .css. Okay, and then um, I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate that, and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, load in custom .css as well. So I'm gonna add that file and make sure that that's good. Custom .css. This will be my CSS that I want to add. All right, so now we've loaded in uh, two style sheets, the bootstrap style sheet and a custom style sheet underneath that, so that we can override the bootstrap stuff and add additional styles. And then, um, first thing I need to load in is, is jQuery. Uh, so we'll do source equals, and then let's go ahead and close these tags really quickly. Okay, and for our source, um, I'm gonna go ahead and echo out sroot again. All right, and then that'll be JS forward slash jQuery dash 2.2.4.min.js. All right, and I'll duplicate that line down and I'm going to replace this with bootstrap.min.js. All right, now, what we have is our default layout um, and what we want to do is load in our information from our views into this so let's see if we can do that um, underneath our script tag here what I'm going to do is echo this content head okay and what that you remember in our view when I said that we were going to um, try to we were going to do something like this where we said this uh, start head this end and then we were going to do this start body and then do our HTML and then say this and okay um, so to test this what I want to do here is um, inside this start head I'm just gonna put something some sort of weird meta tag here um, and uh, Hmm. Say content test, and this isn't, you know, this isn't uh, anything I'm going to keep or anything. We're just testing this right now. So uh, let's go back to our view.php and uncomment this line that added that adds our layout. Okay, and then let's go back to our application and let's get rid of this here. Okay, so I put an F there just so we didn't break anything, just so we don't have to put that, and we don't. We were testing that, uh, that. So let's just get rid of that because we don't need that either. Let's just make this thing 
as basic as it possibly can so we don't get confused. Let's get back to the home page here. Alright, so nothing appears to be on the screen, but if I load the source, um, let's see. Oh, yeah, use of undefined constant uh, in the, my layout's default. And I apologize about that. I put S root here, and we change the name of that to P root. Okay. So there we go. Um, and then you remember in our view, here's our layout that's that's being rendered to the browser. But in our view, we had that start and end, and we added that meta content test um, right here. This so that's being rendered in the head bef you know before the closing head right here and that's really cool that that's working so that's that's awesome so uh, let's just go back and do some cleanup work here so let's go back to our default PHP and let's get rid of um, we don't need this because we already did that and then here inside of our body what we're gonna do is echo this content body okay and we don't need any of these script tags because I'm loading those in the head so oops all right so let's take a look at that now and now we can see that we have our layout and we're loading in bootstrap so that's working we're loading in our custom CSS, which is blank right now. That's working. Uh, we're loading in jQuery and our JS bootstrap files. And then we also can load in our custom uh, header and body uh, content in, from our view. So our view is working beautiful, beautifully. Um, so let's go back now here. And our title of our site right now says uh, Bootstrap 101 Template. We don't want that, um, so let's go ahead and change that. Um, so in our default layout right here in the title, we're going to echo out this site title. Cool. So now this should say Rua MVC framework, and we set that uh, in our config right here. So mine was Rua MVC framework. So that's loading in our site title. Now, if I wanted to load that in the view or the home here, uh, I can go to the index.php. Remember how we said that we could do the uh, this set site title. Let's say home. Just, just to make sure that works. And now that's changed to home. So that's how we can in our controller, in our side of our actions, we could change the site title for every page. Even though we're loading this through our index.php file, um, we have a, the ability to dynamically or otherwise set the site titles. Um, so that's really cool. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this for now. Um, and I'm going to remove this meta tag right here. I'm also going to remove this and see, make sure we don't break anything. Uh, body, yep. So let's go ahead and take a look at that now. Let's look at the page source, make sure we don't have anything weird going on here. Everything's looking great. Um, so yeah, um, looks like our layout is working as expected, um, and we are well on our way here. Let's just uh, double check really quick while we're here to make sure that our HT access file. Uh, our mod rewrites are working correctly. You remember that for our CSS and stuff. So just a quick check for that. Um, let's go ahead into our index here. I'm going to give this h1 a class that I'm going to create. I'm just going to call it, um, well, we'll test bootstraps too. So we'll say text center, and then I'm going to say red. Okay. Uh, so let's take a refresh that. Uh, that would help if I Spell it correctly. Okay, text center red. Now let's make it red. So we're going to check our uh, CSS, custom CSS, 
And so let's just create this and we're going to say color red. Fresh and sure enough, the color is red and it's centered. So we know that our, uh, at least our CSS files at this point are loading correctly. Later when we get into our menus and things like that, we'll check on our JavaScript and jQuery. Um, but anyhow, yeah, this is working very well. Um, so I'm pretty happy.